So we're back again with a quick straight to the point tutorial. This is going to be the beginning of an all over what's considered a 3D suppl uh, sublimation t-shirt. In order to have, to me, a good sublimation t-shirt, you do need a template to start with. So this is a template. This is just a basic t-shirt the size of an adult medium t-shirt. This is my template. This is where I'm going to put everything. This is where I'm going to design it. So this is going to be my base. Um, the canvas is size to fit this, which is 39 by 33. So we'll say 40 by 34 uh, is what it's currently sized as. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get your background in here. So I have everything already on here. So I'm going to unclip it. Okay, so we're going to start from scratch. So this is a um, base red shirt. As you can see, once I put my red background up here, it actually takes over the whole screen. We want it to just be in that shirt. So anytime you have an object in Photoshop and you want it to be just in that object and you don't want it to go around it, then you have to create what's called a clipping mask. So if you right click on, and then they have to be on top of each other. So if you look at the layers, this is the t-shirt layer, and then this is the red layer. These eyes right here let you see that layer. So if I uh, click this off, then you're only going to see the shirt. I put it back on so we see the red box so these anytime these so I have all these layers here y'all can't see these layers this is hiding the layers because I don't have uh, the eyes showing right there um, we'll get into each layer and this may possibly have to be a two-part video but this is just going to be the base of the video so this is how you get your your template or your background for your all over shirt so I want this to just be in the t-shirt so I'm going to create a clipping mask I'm going to right click on this red box and I'm going to create clipping mask that puts the shirt just in that box okay so if I wanted to move this shirt it's just going to move within the box so in order to move any of your layers go to edit some people use transform, I like free transform. So if I was to try to move this red, it's gonna go from side to side, but it's only gonna stay in that box. It's gonna stay in a t-shirt. It's not gonna go anywhere else. Okay, so that's how you create what's considered a clipping mask. So you're inserting all objects, anything you want on this shirt is gonna be within this, uh, within this template once you create a, a clipping mask. So this will be just the start of the video, but this is gonna be your base foundation. Um, right here, you've learned how to create a clipping mask, and this is gonna be the start of a 3D, um, all over 3D t-shirt. I'm gonna finish the video, and then we're gonna actually, I'm gonna show you how to actually create the t-shirt. So we'll come back and do that, but this is how you get the base of creating a 3D t-shirt and how you do a clipping mask. You use a clipping mask for pretty much anything. If you're doing mock-ups, um, it's great to use a clipping mask, but that is a great tool in Photoshop. Again, you would do that by clicking on the layer that you're wanting to stay within a certain object. You're going to right-click, create clipping mask. If you no longer want the clipping mask, you're going to hit release. So here's a tip for today and again subscribe I'm going to come back and we're going to actually complete this whole t-shirt.